Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. We have an early season intra-district matchup of the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies versus the Blue Valley West Jaguars. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from Northwest. I'm Dan, I'm a senior. I'm Alec, I'm a senior. I'm Abik, I'm also a senior. I'm Ben, and I'm a freshman. I'm Evan, I'm a senior. And our competitors from West. I'm Kyler, I'm a senior. I'm Sham, and I'm a senior. I'm Emory, I'm a junior. I'm Curtis, I'm a senior. I'm Abby, I'm a senior. All right, fantastic. Here on categories in the first round, we will take turns trying to answer different questions from different categories. If the team fails to answer correctly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by West, so Jaguars, here we go. The first category is U.S. Geography, specifically the states. It was the site of the Black Hawk Wars. The Ringley Brothers Circus began there at Barbaraboo. Barbaraboo. Name this state with university branches at Superior, Madison, and Eau Claire. Sean? Wisconsin. It is Wisconsin. Huskies, science, biology. According to modern systems of taxonomy, which of the following organisms belongs to a class different from any others? Is it the spider, the tick, the centipede, or the scorpion? Ben. The centipede. It is the centipede. Back over to you, Jaguars, with literature. Quote the first five words of the famous line by John Donne, which precedes, every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Huskies, chance to steal this literature question. Quote the first... Alec. No man is an island. No man is an island. Very good. Northwest, we do go back to you with a language question. This description fits a word that begins with the prefix P-R-O. It's an early American colonial government. Excuse me. Early American colonial government is classified either as royal, charter, or what? A beak. Provisional. Cannot accept provisional. Jaguars, chance to steal this language question. This description, this description fits a word that begins with the p prefix P-R-O. Early American colonial government is classified either as royal, charter, or... Abby? Provincial. It is not provincial. Proprietary is what we're looking for. Proprietary. West, you do get the next question. It is current events. Name the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. who criticized the international... Curtis. Samantha Powers. It is Samantha Powers. Huskies, back to you with film. Name the two films for which Steven Spielberg won Oscars for Best Director during the 1990s. Time on that. Jaguars, chance to steal this film category. Name the two films for which Steven Spielberg won Oscars for Best Director during the 1990s. Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan were the two. The ones that are easy once you know the answer. It's pretty. All right, West, back to you with U.S. government. The 1973 Wars Powers Resolution forbids prolonged military intervention overseas without, without what happening first? Curtis. Uh, approval by Congress. Approval by Congress. Nice job. Northwest, games is your category. Of what chess piece did Leon Uris write? It's like a Russian. It can move in eight different directions, all of them crooked. Abi? The queen? It is not the queen. West, we're looking for a, a games category here. Chance to steal. Of what chess piece did Leon Uris write? It's like a Russian. It can move in eight different directions, all of them crooked. Sean? The knight. It is the knight. West, back to you with math terminology. 
in differential calculus, what quality of a function tells how, how the dependent variable tends to change with respect to the independent variable? Sean? The derivative. It is the derivative. Nice job. Back to you, Northwest. History, this time inventors. William Addis was a prisoner in England around 1765. What did he invent that is used by nearly everyone on a daily basis? Jaguars, chance to steal this history inventors category. William Addis was a prisoner in England around 1765. What did he invent that is used nearly by nearly everyone on a daily basis? Sean? The chair. It is not the chair. It's the toothbrush. Toothbrush. He did say nearly everybody. <laughs> Back to U.S. U.S. history is the category. The Molly Maguires was the nickname of some labor terrorists in the 1860s and 1870s in Pennsylvania. What industry was the target of these terrorists? Curtis? The railroad industry. It is not the railroad industry. Northwest, chance to steal this U.S. history category. The Molly Maguires was the name of some labor terrorists of the 1860s and 1870s in Pennsylvania. What industry was the target of these terrorists? Alec? The steel industry. It is not the steel industry. It's coal mining. Coal mining. Huskies, we are going back to you with general knowledge as the category. What is the first prepositional phrase used in the Pledge of Allegiance. Abik? To the flag. To the flag. Back to you, West. Music instruments is the category. Bagpipe players are to Scotland as the Alpenhorn players are what to what other country? Curtis? Switzerland. Switzerland. Huskies, economics. What Belgian diamond trading center is home to the world's oldest stock exchange. Abik. Antwerp. It is Antwerp. Jaguars. Next question from you is sports. Name one of, excuse me, name one of the four consecutive years in which Major League Baseball had two All-Star games played. Just looking one of the four. Abi. 1996. Did not accept that. Northwest, chance to steal this sports category. Name one of the four consecutive years in which two Major League Baseball All-Star games were played. Abik? 1946. It is not 1946. It was uh, ran from 1959, 1960, 61, and 62. However, you guys do get the next question, Huskies. It is a language of vocabulary. Pair amnesia can best be described by which two French words? Alec? Deja vu. It is deja vu. Back to you, West. Literature. Whose famous last words were, alas, I am dying beyond my means? Curtis? Lord Byron. It is that Lord Byron. Huskies, chance to steal this literature question. Whose famous last words were, alas, I am dying beyond my means? It was Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Huskies, back to you with math, this time geometry. What is the segment joining the midpoint of the two legs of a trapezoid? The height? It is not the height. West, a chance to steal this math geometry question. What is the segment joining the midpoint of the two legs of a trapezoid? Sean? The median? It is the median. Nice job. Back to you, West, with geography. What two geographical places are closest to the Earth's center? Sean? The North and South Poles. North and South Pole. Back to you, Northwest. Science compounds. Do isomorphic compounds have the same valence, crystalline form, 
molecular weight, spectra, or magnetic properties? Molecular weight. Oh, excuse me, Evan? Molecular weight. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Wes, chance to steal this science compounds question. Do isomorphic compounds have the same valence, crystalline form, molecular weight, spectra, or magnetic property? Sean. Crystalline form. Crystalline form. Back to you, West. History, agricultural history. At one time, almost all households in, Amer in the America colonies raised flax so they could weave linen cloth. What other plant fiber, which was cheaper to produce, began to replace linen in the late 1700s? Sean? Cotton. Cotton. Northwest, back to you with US, U.S. geography symbols. What is the state medal of Nevada? Dan? Silver. It is silver. Nice job. West, back to you. This time it's Central American geography. It's never been invaded, nor has it ever invaded another nation. It's never had a coup or a military government. This makes it unique among Central American nations. Name this English-speaking nation. Sean? Belize. Belize. Huskies, general knowledge is your category. The easiest cosmetic to manufacture, it is applied to the face, and is made from kaolin, zinc oxide, or titanium oxide. What is it? Dan. Lipstick? It is not lipstick. West, chance to steal this general knowledge category. The easiest cosmetic to manufacture, it is applied to the face and is often made from kaolin, zinc oxide, or titanium oxide. What is it? Sean? Mascara. It is not mascara. It's powder. It's powder. Well, that siren does denote the end of our first half. And we do have a score of Blue Valley Northwest 6, Blue Valley West 11. As we go into our halftime, we will go to a member of each team for a campus update. And it looks like, Dan, you are giving the update for Blue Valley Northwest. How are things with the Huskies? They're pretty good. Um, our volleyball team just qualified for the 6A state tournament. Um, we're confident that they're going to do well. Uh, our marching band this Saturday just did their glow show and they're deep in the planning stages of a trip to Madrid in, in early January. And also our winter sports are about to start ramping up and we're highlighted by our basketball team, which we are hoping will have a three-peat of a state title. Well, that's pretty impressive. All right, and as we head over to Curtis and what is going on with the Jaguars of Blue Valley West? Well, this past weekend, the Jaguars competed in a national debate tournament in Iowa and did extremely well in one division. We took both first and second place, so we're very proud of that. Uh, our Jaguar boys soccer this week is competing to um, qualify for the state tournament, and we're confident that their, um, their abilities will uh, be very well exhibi exhibitioned there. And lastly, Blue Valley West, the entire student body is very excited for uh, the Royals. In fact, last week we had a blue out where everybody wore their Royals attire. Oh, fantastic. Lots of great stuff happening at all the schools around there. That's uh, and around Kansas City, specifically about the Royals. It's very exciting. It hasn't happened since I was about your guys' age. That kind of dates me a little bit. All right, so as we head into the second round, it is our lightning round in which questions are placed on the floor for either team to answer. As tradition here on Categories, we'll start our lightning round with our look and listen question in which we'll display a picture and sound here on the studio monitor. And let, us, let me remind you, uh, contestants, you may bring in when I'm finished reading the question. And once you ring in, we cannot recue the video, so we have to go and freeze the video at that time. So here we go, both teams. Hands on buzzers. Give the name of both of the documents that were debated and adopted in this building. Alec. Declaration of Independence and Articles of Confederation. I cannot accept that. West, chance to steal. Sean? Declaration of Independence and Constitution. Those are the answers we were looking for. Very good. And so two points to West. 
As we continue with the rest of our lightning round, as said before, the question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does ring in and respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go with current events. Dilma Rousseff was re-elected to a second term as president of what country? Emory. Brazil. Brazil. Fine arts, ballet. In 1964, after the performance of Swan Lake, Margot Frontalin and Rudolf Nureyev received a record number, 89 by the way, of what? Dan. Encores. Encores or curtain calls, very good. Both teams, vocabulary, word origin. The word schmaltz suggests an excess of sentiment in art or music. From which language does schmaltz come? Kyler? Yiddish. I cannot accept Yiddish. Huskies, chance to steal this word origin category. The word schmaltz suggests an excess of sentiment in art or music. From which language does schmaltz come? Alec. Hebrew. I cannot accept Hebrew. We're looking for German, which means melted fat, by the way, in German. World history for both teams. Members of the ancient Aztec court in Mexico drank more than 2,000 cupfuls of this drink. Dan. Chocolate. It is chocolate. I didn't even have to give the choices there. Nice job. World geography populations this time. Iraq, Turkey, Syria, and Iran all have large communities of what ethnic minority? Dan? Kurds. Kurds. Science for both teams. The unit measuring the energy in a given amount of food is called what? The calorie. Abi? I'm sorry, Abi? The calorie. Calorie, very good. Literary terms is the next category. There were a million people at the dance last night. What? Dan? Hyperbole. Hyperbole is what we're looking for. You've narrowed the gap a bit here. The score right now is Northwest 11, West 14. Presidential history is the next category. All the other presidents had one, but Buchanan didn't. What am I doing? Curtis. A wife. A wife. Military history for both teams. During World War II, these three world leaders met twice to discuss peace. Dan. Stalin, Churchill, and Roosevelt. Those are the three. Language definitions for both teams. Matrimony is the state of being married. What is acrimony? Curtis. Not being married. I cannot accept that. Northwest, chance to steal this language definitions question. Matrimony is the state of being married. What is acrimony? We would have accepted harshness of temper, bad manners, bitterness. No comment on marriage on that part. <laughs> I love you, honey. Trust me. All right. General knowledge for both teams. It was the name of a wooden statue in Troy which protected the city as long as it remained there. It is also the name of a chemical element with the... Dan. Palladium. Palladium. Economics terminology is the next category. What name is given to shares of stock bearing a stated fixed dividend, which are paid out of earnings before common stock dividends are declared? Alec. Uh, initial public offering. I cannot accept that. West, chance to steal this economics terminology question. What name is given to shares of stock bearing a stated fixed dividend? which are paid out of earnings before common stock dividends are declared. Sean. Bonds. It is not bonds. It's a preferred stock. Preferred stock. Both teams, musical, or music, excuse me, classical music to be exact. Mozart composed over 600 works, but died at the age of 35 while working on a certain mass. Dan? The Requiem Mass. The Requiem Mass, very good. Film for both teams. In which 2004 film does Morgan Freeman play ex-boxer Eddie, also known as Scrap Iron? 
Dan. Million dollar baby? It is million dollar baby. With that answer, you have tied up the score at 15 apiece. U.S. geography. What river forms the boundary between New York and northeastern Pennsylvania? A beak. The Allegheny? It is not the Allegheny. West, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. What river forms the boundary between New York and northeastern Pennsylvania? Sean? The Hudson? It's not the Hudson. It's the Delaware. The Delaware River. Both teams, math is the category. If the area of a base of a rectangular solid is tripled, what is the percent of increase in its volume? Sean? 200. 200. World history for both teams. What people were collectively awarded Britain's George Cross for heroism, the first people to be so honored? Was it the Chinese, the Maltese, the French, or the Javanese? Omre. Maltese. It is the Maltese. Sports history for both teams. The first international amateur speed skating contest was held in what capital city during the winter of 1892-1893? It was held in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Science, animals for both teams. A polecat is another name for two animals. The skunk is one, what's the other? Curtis? A raccoon. Can I accept raccoon? Huskies, chance to steal this animals category. A polecat is another name for two animals. The skunk is one, what is the other? Ivan. Badger. It is not the badger, it's the ferret, the ferret. Space, or science, specifically space is the category. In the field of space exploration, what do the letters JPL mean? Evan. Jet Propulsion Laboratory. That is correct. Geography explores. Francisco del Oriana explored it and named it for, its legenda for a legendary tribe of Greek warriors. His journey covered four. Tyler? The Amazon. It is the Amazon. Literature for both teams. George Orwell wrote a book called Homage to Catalonia about his experiences in what conflict? Abik? The Spain and England conflict? I cannot accept that. West, chance to steal this literature question. George Orwell wrote a book called Amre. Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Civil War is what we're looking for. West, you've opened up a three-point lead. World history for both teams. In South America, he's known as El Liberator and the George Washington of South America. Amre? Mm -hmm. That is correct. General knowledge for both teams. Only two organizations have won the Nobel Peace Prize more than once. One is the United Nations Office of Higher Commissioner for Refugees. Name the other. Show them. U.S. President. I cannot accept the U.S. President. Northwest, chance to steal this general knowledge question. Only two organizations have won the Nobel Peace Prize more than once. Name either one of them. Oh, excuse me, Na one of them is United Nations Office of Higher Commissioner for Refugees. Name the other. Alec. The European Union. It is not the European Union, it's the Red Cross. The Red Cross. Fine arts, theater. What Peter Schaefer, what Peter Schaefer play cast six actors as horses. Dan. Equus. It is Equus. Vocabulary, law vocabulary. What do we call a lawsuit in which a professional person is accused of injuring a patient or client? Dan. Malpractice. It is malpractice. U.S. history for both teams. An example of corruption on the municipal level in the latter half of the 19th century was the Tweed Ring. It controlled the democratic political machine in what city? Dan. New York City. New York City. You narrowed the gap to one. Science, specifically medicine. What kind of shot is administered in 14 to 21 daily injections, followed by a booster 10 to 20 days later? Alec. 
a rabies shot? It is a rabies shot, and you've tied the score at 20 apiece. Literature, The Other Side of Midnight, is a story reminiscent of Aristotle Onassis and Jackie Kennedy. Who wrote the book? Sydney Sheldon. Oh, that siren does denote the end of our regular timed play, and so we are going to head into overtime. Overtime rules are as follows. We will, place, we will have five questions. Whatever team gets the most out of those five is declared the winner. If the, Scott, the score is tied after those five questions, one, two, three, four, five, we will then go to sudden victory questions. Sudden victory. So here we go. Both teams, hands on buzzers, please. Defined as rural, rustic, and pastoral, spell bucolic. Sean? B-U-C-O-L-I-C. That is correct. Both teams, the language, word origin. Kings and queens often use the royal we, where most of us would say I. This custom had its origins in what ancient empire, where there were two rulers who issued decrees jointly? Roman Tyler? Empire. Roman Empire. That is correct. Sports history for both teams. Mildred Babe Didrikson won Olympic gold medals in what event? Swimming, ice skating. Oh, Sean. Ice skating. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Northwest chance to steal the sports history question. Mildred Babe Didrikson won Olympic gold medals in what event? Swimming, ice skating, golf, track and field, or archery? Ben. Archery. It was track and field. Track and field. U.S. history for both teams. As governor of Arkansas, Orville E. Faubus used National Guard troops to preserve school segregation in which high school? Dan. Central High School. Little Rock Central High there School. There you go. Thank you. All right. Down to this question. Northwest, you are trailing by one. General knowledge is the category. What article of men's clothing is distinctive to gala costume of both Greece and Scotland? All right. It is the kilt. And with that correct response, you've won our overtime three to one. Congratulations, Blue Valley West, for winning our first overtime game of the 14-15 season. Nice job. Please join us again here next time on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.